Apple just made an announcement that I think will legitimately change how humans interact with the world and each other over the next decade. And it scares the living shit out of me. You ever see that WALL-E movie where everyone is basically a vegetable because they are being served everything they want through virtual technology? That could be us. Damn! Even though there are some cool applications of this new technology, as you'll see near the end of this video, I'm concerned for our future. With this new Vision Pro, Apple is introducing the idea of spatial computing where you can basically control everything through your eyes, your fingertips, and your voice without any physical controller or device actually in your hand. And what blows my mind is that in this digital environment, it tracks your eye movement to navigate through different windows. And with a few taps and flicks of your finger, you can control the distance, the size, and the scale of various apps and move them wherever you want to in front of you or throughout your space. Does this not give you like total Tony Stark Iron Man vibes here? Wake up, daddy son. Welcome home, son. And Apple already showed the first area of our lives that they want to change, the workplace. With the Vision Pro, how we work will be completely transformed. This makes working in the office basically obsolete. You can now set up as many 4K virtual monitors as you want. You could bring up whatever is on your Mac screen virtually in front of you just by looking at it. You can have group video calls where you can share presentations almost as if you're having a real person in that meeting. And what's even crazier is that the Vision Pro will create a natural representation of what you look like, including your facial expressions and hand movements. It's as creepy as it sounds. Why do you give them faces? friendly them all up, make them look all human. Imagine if this would have been available in 2020. Honestly, Apple might have missed the boat because I guarantee people would have been shelling out their bread for this thing. The other area that Apple's gonna be changing in our lives is at-home entertainment. Honestly, with the Vision Pro, do you even need a 4K TV anymore? <laughs> You can ultimately create an immersive photo and video viewing experience just with the headset alone. The screens for each eye have more pixels than a standard 4K TV. You can also adjust the screen size to whatever fits your preference. And you can change the entire environment around you to where you can feel like you're either in a movie theater or alternatively in a totally immersive space where it seems like you are in a completely new world. Wild, I know. Apple shared an example of this by saying on a flight, you can use your Vision Pro in addition to your AirPods to block out everything and fully immerse yourself in whatever you are watching. I don't know about you, but I don't see myself bringing this expensive headset outside when it first comes out. I feel like it will just make me an easy target to get jumped. My weakness in small knives. They also showed how you can be fully immersed when playing various video games from Apple Arcade, which I think is super dope. However, I do wish there was a partnership with PlayStation, but of course that would cannibalize their VR too. Now, the biggest highlight for me was actually Apple's partnership with Disney where Bob Iger shared how you can view rich experiences on their platforms. Whether whether it's seeing unique animations when watching shows on Disney Plus, or my personal favorite, watching sports through an immersive lens where you can watch different games at once, have a dynamic view of a basketball game, or even see stats and effects when your team scores. I honestly couldn't have thought of a perfect partnership between two companies, especially when they have two competing streaming products. And another thing that surprised me was the fact that the Vision Pro includes a 3D camera where you can take 3D videos and photos of different moments that you can revisit in the same format later in the future. I know this may be like a bit of a depressing take, but the first thought I had when they showed this was that it reminded me of those like movie scenes where people would do flashbacks or replay voicemails of loved ones who passed away, or if they wanted to continue to experience those touching moments that could cherish forever like a wedding or birthday party, which honestly, I could see this being something extremely useful for that type of use case. This is all possible through Apple's new software system, Vision OS. Can I get an Avengers Age of Ultron, anyone? I suppose we are both disappointments. Now, there are definitely concerns around this new product. Apparently, even though it's beautifully designed, I heard it's pretty big on your head and a bit heavy when wearing it for a long period of time. Also, the battery life is only two hours when it's not plugged in and you're only using that small portable battery charger thing. And don't even get me started on the $3,500 price tag. It was funny how Apple was trying to justify the cost by saying that you basically get a 4K TV, surround sound system, a powerful computer, multiple displays and a high-end camera all in this one device, which I guess is kind of true. However, my biggest concern is how is this new technology going to affect how we interact with each other in the physical world? After 2020, we got tired of sitting on Zoom calls all day long. We crave those in-person experiences and by interacting face-to-face, -face, all five senses can be felt. It's just different when you're physically near someone. And my biggest fear is that this could potentially cause most people to be out of touch with reality and accelerate the levels of inactivity and obesity in our country. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Could this be the end of true humanity and in-person relationships as we know it? I mean, it could, but I'm still going to buy it. Oh, oh, oh.